Hey Vikes, today is Monday, November 11th, and we have our broadcast today, which consists of the sports section, our World Awareness Update, also we're talking about parent-teacher conferences, and Veterans Day, which will be happening right here tonight on the stage right behind me. Enjoy the newscast. All right, welcome to sports. I'm Meerkat. Bob and Brick got the day off, so I'm joined by these two lovely ladies. Simi. Mika. In our speech and debate team, Mark Mendoza and Thomas Hayworth placed first place in the public forum, and Faith Darnell scored first in prose poetry. Current senior basketball player Kelsey Mitchell is still the number one player in the country. 2010 grad Jordan Cyber made game-winning shot for the Dayton Flyers this weekend, and that play made it to the first in the ESPN Top 10. All right, weekly weekend recap in sports. UC squeaked by SMU 28-25. Kentucky got killed by Missouri. The Bengals, my God, what did they do? I don't even know what to say. That's all in sports for today. Thanks for watching. What's up, Mike? I'm Bri, and I'm here with Allie and Maria. And today we're here to talk about the I Will Foundation Awareness Game. that will be on November 19th. It's a Tuesday. This game is in support of Wilcox. He is a former Princeton High School student, and he died due to brain cancer. We will be playing Milford, and we'll be selling t-shirts to raise the money. Um, so come out to the game and support us. What's good, Mike? It's just a news for the week. This Wednesday will be a parent teacher conference for your parents to meet your teachers. It'll be from 3 to 7 p.m. in the second quarter. If you uh, want to schedule a meeting, you can go on the Princeton High School webpage or download the app to find your teacher and schedule a meeting. Following conferences, there's going to be a page participate meeting in the cafeteria starting at 7 o'clock. Good afternoon, Vikes. This is Destiny. And I'm Ashley. As you all probably know, today is Veterans Day. And this morning, our Princeton staff hosted a breakfast for our Viking veterans just to show that we support them and we appreciate everything that they've done for us in our country. So to further on and thank them, tonight we'll be having our 10th annual Salute to Veterans Day concert in Matthews Auditorium at 7 o'clock. And it's basically to give those veterans who didn't get the chance to get their diplomas, they're going to come here and get them tonight. And it's a really fun time. You just want to come out and support the chamber orchestra and the choir and most importantly our veterans. So everybody come out, support them, and be there. It'll be a really great concert. Thanks guys. Bye.